Welcome to today's backyard workout. We've got a 24 kilo kettlebell, which I love, and we're doing single leg Romanian deadlifts and kettlebell swings. I'm doing the Romanian deadlifts because it builds strength unilaterally, meaning on one side and on the other, and you can see the deficiencies and you can train them to be more similar, those sides. You can see which one's not performing and you can you can strengthen those areas. So it's really good for balance as well by loading up one side of the body. It definitely works the proprioception part of your training regime. These are not your stock standard kind of exercises that you'll see in most gyms. And the reason is, is most people don't know about kettlebells at all. So if that's you, feel free to get yourself a kettlebell. I think at one point, even Aldi was selling them and uh, maybe get a trainer or someone who has you know experience in these kettlebell swings and romanian deadlifts and 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 start to learn because this is actually a really great workout and the reason for it to be 10 minutes is because when we work really hard in other areas that are not our primary focus we don't need to fatigue ourselves in the gym so if you're a sprinter a bike rider a swimmer or what I do, which is jujitsu, that is your primary focus. And so you've got sport specific training, like the technique in the exercises and the sport that you're, that you're playing. And then you've got the supporting strength and conditioning type exercises. So I am coming back to, you know, decent level strength after a number of years on hiatus. And 10 minutes is a really good workout if you load up uh, correctly so if you add sufficient load to to give your body a stimulus as opposed to give yourself fatigue and you'll know this because your performance in the gym or in your sport will start to decline if you're adding too much stress to the system and so set number two we're still looking pretty good in the sense of uh, technique and, and speed of the reps is is flowing quite well I definitely felt challenged at times by doing, the, and there's one in particular, by doing the balancing. But this is a great way to strengthen the glutes, strengthen the hamstrings, build your balance, and create a new motor pattern. You might notice at the start of the kettlebell set, I didn't raise the kettlebell up with my arms and that's because swings are not an arm raise motion exercise they are a hip thrust motion exercise by which <laughs> by which the the byproduct is the kettlebell swings up to around the height of the shoulder and so what i say to people is is that very first rep if you don't get it up because you don't have enough momentum don't count that rep count the next rep as your first rep and hopefully i've done that correctly here today so in between sets i'm deep breathing uh, i do some kind of stretching or some some movement uh, as well different times some kind of yogic type stuff it really just depends on how i'm feeling because to me working out isn't just a means to an end it's to be fun it's to be playful and of course I do look serious while I'm working out because I want the most out of my exercise but in between I want to regulate my breathing bring it back down bring my heart rate down as a result of that so that I can prepare for the next set you might have noticed I'm not actually timing my rest I have no idea how much rest I had between sets in this workout routine I literally used my gut instinct as it were based on how's my breathing how's my heart rate how tired do i feel and so i'm i'm estimating it was between 30 seconds and a minute maximum between sets and the speed of the reps now having a look at this i see that the reps are actually quite fast which makes me think that it felt a lot more difficult than it appears so my technique is is not too shabby at all Maybe the shoulders are a little protracted, which means they've come forward. But that could also just be the way that it looks with the angle of the camera and the fact that I've got rather large trapezius muscles. 
And I always say to have stability in the shoulder, the hip, any, any complex motor pattern requires stability. You know, there I am celebrating, it's four, four sets done. The reason for that is, is because you want to prevent injury, first and foremost. You want to promote good motor pattern development, secondly. You want to produce results that you can replicate week in, week out, or between, um, uh, you know, a certain timeline, you know, over, over time. Because you want to look healthy, you want to feel healthy, you want to move more effectively. And if you're able to work out effectively, you're able to move in your daily life effectively. And that's going to put a smile on your face because you might look, feel, act, and think a bit more how you would prefer, rather than what is very common, which is that sort of automatic negative thinking. A fatalist thinking about what you can or more so can't achieve and so when we move our body well we get a sense of confidence that comes with that and when we progress through using great technique and consistent training methods and it, you know the other supportive things like stretching and eating the right foods we actually do progress we see changes in our body we, ch we see changes in the way that we feel we see changes in the, in the thoughts that we think and the other actions in life that we take too so if you're on the precipice of making a change mentally speaking you're trying to make a decision should i shouldn't i well of course you definitely should because your curiosity is sparked and you definitely want more than you've currently got whether it be in fitness health personal life finances whatever the case may be if you're thinking hey that would be something i should do or i want to do then take the plunge take a risk the worst that could happen is is that it doesn't come off as you and originally planned and you're starting from square one now i've done this several times as an adult i was really fit great runner took up some bad habits became a chef during that time was eating really poorly not exercising at all and later on i got my hack together again got real fit became a competitive power lifter which is the reason why i have such a decent level of muscle mass today found that that was produced a lot of anxiety and nerve nervous system issues and just sort of broke down, was getting sick all the time, had to quit all of that, became really overweight again. And, uh, you know, some years later, getting act together again, training right, eating right, getting the weight down, discovering Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you know, all these little nuances and changes that come uh, through experimentation and curiosity. It's like, what could I do to help myself get to this place? And the answers are all around us. And I know that sounds a bit mystical, but they truly are. When you ask a question, so for example, the reason for my doing this workout is, well, it's multifaceted, but let's keep it simple. It is to strengthen the right-hand side of my body, in particular, the, the glutes and the legs, uh, the right-hand side, the glute and leg, because there's an imbalance that I identified when I went to a physio a few months ago. We got uh, some training protocol, ideas down and I've only just started to action them. This single leg or unilateral type exercise really highlighted that by feedback, you know, by biofeedback. I was able to feel the difference in leg strength and tension between the two legs and I will work out in essence to try and bring balance to those two legs and not only balance to those two legs but to be able to balance even better. That's the purpose of the Romanian deadlift in the single leg format. And so I'm taking a risk there because, you know, I could fail, I could injure myself, but the risk of injury in these kinds of exercises can very easily be mitigated by way of using the right technique, using a suitable load for the training level that I have, although I have trained a lot, and the amount of time that I train in recent times using weights. So I've limited the workout to about 10 minutes. I've got two different exercises, which I'm very familiar with, although I haven't used them for quite a while. And I'm not using a weight that is absolutely maximum effort. So I'm using a sub-maximal weight. Now I did get a nice cardio workout out of this too. And in fact, that was probably the thing that felt that it was being stressed the most. The strength factor, as you can see by the workout, is not really that hard. I'm moving the weight quite easily. And so that's what I'd say to you guys. Get out there, go for it. And there it is, just to prove that it was 24 kilos. All right, have yourselves a great day. Love you all.